Now at 11 and streaming on CBSN Bay Area. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. I'm Alan Martin. New fallout tonight, Cal's postponed game against USC and those 44 positive COVID cases. One Bay Area infectious disease expert says most of the players never should have been tested in the first place. KPI x Andrea Nakano joins us from Berkeley to explain. Andrea? Liz and Alan, I had a really interesting conversation with Dr. Monica Gandhi from UCSF tonight, and she says this could be a case where these guidelines just haven't been updated yet. She says the big fail here is that those in the football program that were asymptomatic and fully vaccinated were tested. I have zero panic whatsoever as a public health person, as an infectious disease doctor of 44 healthy people who are fully vaccinated, who may have a little virus in their nose on a highly sensitive test. It is not an outbreak. It is not, does not mean that they got sick and it does not mean that the vaccines don't work. It means that our public health strategy in this case was off and they were doing mass testing of people who didn't need it. According to athletic director Jim Knowlton, 99.5% of players are vaccinated, but everyone had to submit to a COVID test, whether they showed symptoms or not. We had one person who was symptomatic, and then we contact traced, and anybody who was asymptomatic then was tested. That seemed to frustrate some of the players on the team, like Luke Baquette, who tweeted University Health Services told the players they could be arrested for refusing to test as vaccinated individuals with no symptoms. It did not need to get to this point. Asymptomatic testing of groups of vaccinated people regularly is not recommended. And while the Cal football program is in the spotlight here, Dr. Gandhi says this case is an example of what can happen if some decide to test following family gatherings this holiday season. Not only should we not test if we're asymptomatic and vaccinated, so again, that's not even a recommendation to test, but your likelihood of spreading it to anyone is very low. If we don't have more confidence in the vaccines, we are going to be in a, quote, never-ending pandemic. I reached out to the city of Berkeley and the university tonight to get some more clarification on their testing policy. I did not hear back tonight, but in a statement released by Berkeley last night, it says it was following Cal OSHA guidelines. And that's part of the problem here is that their Cal OSHA guidelines, city, county, state and federal going all the way up to the CDC. So it complicates matters. And I also reached out to the football program to get an idea of how many were symptomatic versus asymptomatic. And I was told they do not have that number. Alan?